Hey guys, this is at a weird. Oh, well, that's not good. A weird angle, I was gonna say. I'm really bad at setting up the phone to record so that I don't have to hold it. Um, hi, um, what's up everybody? I am, I know you, I realize that you can't answer me, but like I said before, those are the best kinds of conversations where I'm just talking to myself, really. Um, I'm just doing makeup really for no reason. I'm, I'm going to go play video games when I'm done here, but I, I like putting on makeup for my day, even if my day consists of not leaving the house. <laughs> um, I actually did leave the house earlier and, uh, met up with, Oh, this is the hardest part. Met up with a friend of mine who, from my old job, uh, Danielle, who is awesome and wonderful and a lot like me. And um, in that she likes a lot of the same things as me. And uh, we used a Groupon that I bought a long time ago that I kind of had forgotten about. Oh my God, this is so hard. Um, to get massages and facials. I've never had a facial and she had never had a massage. So it was a nice day for both of us. <laughs> um, and then uh, we stopped at a mall, which happened to be right, right down the street and kind of just bopped around for a little bit. And then uh, we got Dairy Queen, which I don't have very often because literally the only Dairy Queen is that Dairy Queen, which is in Burbank. And Burbank is a, 20 minute half hour drive and wow I look really red on this camera that's not good um you know Dairy Queen is an occasional treat um so it's like a once or twice a year thing if you happen to be in Burbank you know stop at the mall and get Dairy Queen um so now I'm home and I have dishes to do and I oh shit I have laundry to do but I really don't want to do either. Um, in theory, I could just do them tomorrow, but I have to work tomorrow night um, at 10 at night. Uh, and I'm trying to decide if I want to do work before I go to work. And really the answer is no, but it's because I don't want to do any work. Ow, like at all. Being a girl is very hard. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Okay. I had to not talk for a second to get that finished. Whew. That is very difficult. I always used to wonder how girls got that look around their eyes. Like, see how it's dark there on the, like the interior of the eye? I could never figure that out. I, I mean, you know, you do like the water line there, but it rubs off. Or at least mine does. Comes off like right away. So I don't like to just do that and I stopped doing it for a long time um and then I saw a video man the lighting here is awful I saw a video um uh the other day where a lady did the bottom and then she did the top part too but like the inside part so I tried doing that and it worked out great now my eyes look how I want them to let's see if I can find any better lighting in this house is there any this is a little better yeah now I look like a human and not a beast. <laughs> awesome. Um, so the massage I got today was okay. Uh, it's the first massage I've gotten in almost two years, actually. It might be longer than two years. I don't quite remember when we took that vacation. Um, but we may have gotten massages since then. I don't remember. Um, but <laughs> um, the lady did this weird thing where she, she would, like, press here and here. Guess what, lady? That hurts. <laughs> That does not feel good. Please don't do that, masseuses of the world. That that does not feel good, pushing in there. And she pushed really hard. And the thing is, when she was rubbing, it felt great. But she did a lot of stuff with, like, just her fingertips instead of her hand. And it was sharp <laughs> and uncomfortable at times. And... You shouldn't use your fingertips. You should use your whole hand to massage. Um, so it was okay. It solved the problems that I was having, which is I, my lower back hurt a little bit and my legs were killing me just for no reason, which sometimes happens. 
Um, so I'm grateful for that. There's that at least. Um, there's not much else really. I, I'm sad and alone because my sweet man went on his little trip with his kids and I'm not going to see him tomorrow before I go to work because it's a two hour drive for him. And if he comes back at a time when I would be able to see him before work, it's actually going to be a four hour drive for him because the traffic is like horrendous and he wants to leave at a time when the traffic won't be as bad. So I'm going to miss him completely and I won't see him until I get home from work and I actually don't know when that'll be. I'm scheduled until six in the morning, but I have been told that usually you get out at three or four in the morning, but... <laughs> One of the people at work is someone that I used to work with at another casino and he used to intentionally hold me and my boyfriend on overtime or, or longer than other people who started at the same time as us because he didn't like us. And he happens to work on my same shift on Friday night. So I'm not super excited about that. I'm actually really nervous about it. But... The guy who got me the job is a friend. He's really nice, really considerate. So I'm thinking that if there's a problem, I can bring it up with him and he'll do something about it. So <sighs> that's good. Pray for me that I get out early tomorrow night. That is my only hope that I can get out a little early tomorrow night and come home and see my boyfriend and spend a little time with him before we both pass out because we're so tired. Um, I will make a video tomorrow before I go to work, um, and that's it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I don't know if anyone is even keeping up with this anymore, but I appreciate whatever viewership I get. See you tomorrow. Bye.